holy freaking crap, I have been waiting for this manga to anime adaptation to come out. Up, Whitey Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's anime Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Moyo to Roji, Bureau of Supernatural Investigation, Season 1, Episode 1, titled Rai and Taiko. And fun fact, um, this is the same title of the um, manga chapter we're adapting this week. So before we get to today's episode, um, I'm gonna uh, do a live reaction of um, the opening song for this anime. And um, I'm giving you a fair warning, this is probably gonna be pretty long. And what I'm going to do is going to give you my thoughts on the sequence first. And then um, I will give you uh, my thoughts of the song itself at uh, the very end of the um, animation sequence. Um, so the uh, studio that's um, doing this manga to... Um, this manga to anime adaptation is Studio Dean. And I'm very, very concerned about this manga to anime ta um, to anime adaptation because they did uh, the Ito um, collection and a lot of people hated it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get to my live reaction of the opening song and the opening um, animation sequence. Oh my god, there's Moyo and there's Kasano and there's, there's Yoichi. I'm so excited because they look, they look really, really good. And I love, love this background. There's Nana, and there's Pico Pico. Looks so freaking adorable. Oh my god, there's Enchu, and Enchu's one of my favorite freaking characters. And I love that for um, Enchu, when Enchu shows up, that there's a red background. Holy crap, the red background for Enchu, when Enchu shows up, looks so beautiful. I love when the title shows up that um, for the background we have uh, pictures like and it's black and white uh, and we have pictures of um, the cast that looks really really cool. Uh, oh my god I love right after uh, the title that um, Cassano's running and then we have um, uh, Moyo, uh, reading his manga and Kasano's running and, and then we have, um, Moyo, uh, sleep and uh, like laying in his, um, his bed and then, um, Moyo is annoyed and Kasano is freaking scared because that's, that's freaking, uh, very typical of Kasano. He's freaking scared of, uh, Moyo when he gets pissed. Oh my god, I love, love this Mexican standoff between Moyo um, and Kasano versus Enshu. That's really, really cool. I love right after that we uh, get to see the characters themselves. Like, we get to see Yoichi and we get to see um, uh, Biko and we get to see uh, Biko's master and then... Um, we get to see, uh, freaking A. Shit, I forgot their n names for a second. We get to see Nana and Kenji, and, um, we get to see, uh, freaking A. Just give me a second. I totally forgot, um, her name. Um, shit. Uh, we get to see Rio, and then, uh, we get to see, um, and, and we also get to see Enshu going like this, and uh, there uh, we get to see Enshu zoomed out, and then uh, right after that, and we get to see a close up of Enshu, and and then after we get uh, we see uh, Enshu zoomed in, 
or it, a close up, it goes into a contrast and edge you, and it's so freaking cool. I love it. I love um that uh the uh, scene where um Moyo's reading his manga, and then he goes to Kasano. He goes. Roji just freaking chases him. I freaking love, or not Roji, um, Kasano uh, chases him. I freaking love it. Oh my god, I love the perverted scene where Yoichi is uh, trying to jump Nana, and then uh, Nana freaking slaps uh, <laughs> Yoichi, and then um, ties Yoichi up. That's <laughs> so funny. Oh my god, I love that um, Kasano is trying to reach out to uh, Enshu. I really like it because um, that uh, because throughout the series, at least the first part of the series, when um, we see Enshu, we're trying. Uh, Kasano is really trying to help Enshu. Okay, so let me um, give my thoughts on the opening song and then I'll give you my thoughts on um, the sequence. Holy freaking crap. The opening song is so freaking badass as hell. I love the opening song. I love that it's hard rock. It's so cool. Um, and uh, the opening sequence is really, really... Um, is awesome. It uh, uh, it really uh, sums up this at least the first part of this series. Um, I'm really, really, really excited for this series. I'm really excited, but again, I'm I'm a little concerned um, because uh, studio again studio Dean did um, uh the adaptation of the Edo collection. So we'll see how they um, do uh, the Moyo and Roji um, manga to anime adaptation. So now we're gonna get to chapter one's um, manga to anime adaptation. So without, uh, without further ado, let's get to this. And also before I forget, um, I want to know your guys' thoughts on the opening song, especially those that have read the manga. Um, do you guys think that uh, this is a uh, creep for the series and that this sums up the first part of the series? Or do you think Studio Dean did a, a, a terrible job? I really think this is great for the series. Um, okay, so now let's get to, um, to uh, the manga, uh, to anime adaptation of chapter one of the manga. Okay, first of all, this is not chapter one's um, manga to anime adaptation. But I will say this, I really, really like it. I really like um, the... Um, first part of this episode I really love the soundtrack I really love Yoichi's voice actor he is freaking fantastic and also I really really like the soundtrack so far the soundtrack is amazing at the 2 minute 55 second mark now we're at the um adaptation of uh, chapter one of the manga. Okay, we got some lines skipped here, but I will say this, um, we got some lines skipped, and that's not fair. And um, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on Kasano's uh, voice actor so far. Just hold on a second. Crap. Uh, 
first of all. Kee <laughs> this is skip so far. Um, now we can both read it. Right, let's pull ourselves together. Um, I really like Kusano's voice actor. Kusano's vo voice actor is really, really nice so far. Um, all right, let's get back to um, the uh, episode. Studio Dean, why? Why are you skipping lines? This is not cool. This is really not cool. I really, really, really am not liking this. So I'm really not liking that you're skipping lines. So, um, this, this, like, here's what my problem is. You have, you have Cassano saying, shh. For no freaking reason! I don't understand because, um, Moyo says, um, not much of a talker, is she? And then Kusano is supposed to say, shh, and you don't have Moyo saying this! And, uh, Kusano says, shh, it, it, it doesn't make sense for Kusano to say shh! <laughs> so, what the fuck? This is ridiculous! Oh, she does, uh, Muya does, uh, say, uh, the line. I'm sorry. Gotta make that correction. He does say the line. Oh, thank God. I was gonna- I freaking got pissed for no reason. But I do want to say this. I, um, there is- an, Uh, Muyo, or- The line was changed for Muyo. Um, and I don't like it. Muyo says- Unless the translation is wrong. Uh, he says that, um, Ray is, uh, antisocial, and, again, what Muyo says in the manga is not much of a talker. And I don't like this, I don't like the line change. It's weird. I do like this line change. I do like that, um, and this is at the 4 minute 21 second mark. I like that Ray, instead of, um, asking, uh, is supernatural investigation like exorcism that, uh, she says in the anime is magical law like exorcism and stuff. I, I really like that she asks that it's magical law instead. I really like the voice acting so far. The voice acting is is really nice. It's, um, I'm I'm kind of surprised, and I that uh, the voice acting is so good considering um, uh, Studio Dean's record. But man, I gotta say, the English dub has got a, um, a lot to live up to. Okay, there's another line change that, unless um, the translation is uh, wrong, I really, really don't like it. So at the four minute 33 second mark, um, uh, Kusano says uh, in the anime, you think so? But in the manga, what he says, uh, it does, doesn't, uh, it does, don't it? Let's see. We got a line skipped again, which is, um, uh, word uh, after, um, uh, freaking Moyo laughs. He says words are cheap. Okay, the lines are completely wrong at the 441 mark. Um, what, uh, the lines are supposed to be. Uh, what Kusano is supposed to say is, um, uh, but we don't even know what the problem, and then, uh, uh, Moya was supposed to say is, shut up and get this table out of my way. What the fuck? Come on, Studio Dean, this is ridiculous. The spirits, the animation for the spirits looks beautiful. 
Wow. Look at this writing. Oh, why? 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 Why, Studio Dean? Why are you ruining this writing? Just why? Oh, it's killing me. Um, this at the, uh, about the five minute mark, uh, this was skipped. Oh, you can, oh, you can see him. Uh, and then, um, this was skipped by, uh, shit, I scrolled too far. Um, and then, um, I know I'm just, uh, the assistant, um, uh, oh yeah, and also, um, uh, I know I'm just the assistant was skipped just a little, uh, earlier, um, and just noticed that. Um, and woe was skipped, um, just before the five minute mark. Um, oh, and then, uh, animal spirit possession was there, but real nuisances. They latch on when you least expect it and feed on you. Okay, so I gotta say this. Um, and this pisses me off. Uh, and this is why I couldn't stand, uh, the ancient magus bride. Why the hell are you skipping war? Why? I can't stand that shit. Come on. This is, um, a spirit monk. Why the hell would you skip, um, lore? I should say spirit slash exorcist, um, uh, uh, manga. You don't skip lore like this. I will say this, I love, love the Magical Law animation. That is so freaking beautiful. Oh, Studio Dean, you're freaking killing me. I want to rage drop you. I really, really do. But god damn, the animation is just so freaking cool. Why are you skipping lore? Just why are you skipping lore? Um, something, and I just real, realized this. Something tells me that, um, that we're not going to get that many episodes and we're going to be rushing the fuck out of, um, this manga. And that really pisses me off. Um, and again, we're skipping a lot of lore. Um, see, animal spirits often prey upon those troubled by, uh, other spirits, and they were on you. So, maybe you'd best tell us why, um, you're really here. Uh, let's see if this part of the lore is here. Really? You're gonna skip all this lore? Really? Really? Okay, so, um, uh... Five, track five, at the junior, um, Hashiki station. Um, uh, Ray should be getting out of school soon. You get the feeling we're being watched? Look! Uh, and I have to say this right now. This, this does not make any freaking sense. Just, just why? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry right now. This is not freaking fair. This is not fair. More lines are skipped. Um. Hey, uh, what well, was, um, this line, uh, was skipped, uh, by, um, uh, Cassano. Uh, hey, those cost, uh, 2,000 yen. Um, and also, or no. This was, and, oh, and that's, uh, by the way, that's about, uh, U.S., uh, $17. You're not going to mention that, um, uh, that Ray is going to, is having, uh, donuts with friends on the way home? Really? That's, that's just not fair. What the fuck? What the fuck? Shit. There's a shadow hanging over her. Really? Really, Studio Dean? My frick.
freaking god. And I have to, I, um, I'm gonna mention this right now. I'm really freaking sorry that, um, this video is going to be really long, but god damn, Studio Dean, this is ridiculous. Also, there's more lines skipped, uh, but she seems nice enough. Maybe this is a waste of time, you think? Or, hold on, let me make sure these lines are here. I might be wrong. Okay, they changed the line to, um, but she seems, um, more, uh, cheerful than expected, um, which I don't really like, um, uh, from, uh, but she's, uh, in the manga it says, but she seems nice enough. What the fuck? Um, and, um, and... And also, uh, this line was skipped. Um, maybe this is a waste of time. You think? Huh? Uh, was, uh, skipped? Um, let me see if, uh, this line... I think these lines were here. Oh, yeah. These, yeah, these lines were skipped. Look at her hands. They're shaking. Ray, um, what's going on? Um... Okay, something I do like is um, when they're talking about track five, uh, the lore from track five. I like that um, it, uh, or I should say, I like that Studio Dean decided to go um, the black and white route. I love that. That's pretty cool. And I love that it's kind of gritty. That's really cool. And I love that the music is really, really gritty because um, it's, or I should say the music is creepy as freaking hell and the animation is kind of uh, spooky. That's awesome. And by the way, where this is at is at the 6 minute 50 second mark. And at the 6 minute 50 uh, six, um, second mark, when the ghost grabs uh, the person, it gets all staticky. Oh, that's really, really cool. More lines are skipped. And it relates to... I, uh, it's more lore. This, this is just ridiculous. Oh, right. The one that, uh, pulls people's leg. Or, peop um, people's legs. Uh, and you let her? Not my job. Um, uh, so the girl, what about her? Okay, something that I wish that Studio Dean would have done, um, when, uh, oh my god, when Rai uh, mentioned that uh, she killed her friend was that uh, the background went black and uh, uh, the, um, the animation for her, for Rai, would, would have been like creepy as hell and like it would have been like, uh, would have, she would have been um, like black and white stripes. It just, I wish it would have gone that route. That would have been so freaking cool. But, uh, it was just a really, it was a really, um, it was a missed opportunity. Studio Dean, come on. Like, if you, since you did, like, this creepy animation for, uh, um, Platform 5 for, uh, explaining what, uh, happened to, um, the guy, like, why couldn't you do it for Rye? That's not fair. I will say this, when we saw the hand uh, reflected in Rye's eye, though, that was cool, and that was creepy. You see how the students are, and this is at the 7 minute 33 second mark, you see how, like, the stu um, the other um, classmates, their, uh, their classmates are uh, black and white? That's what I wanted uh, for Rye when she said that um, uh, she killed her friend. That would have been really cool and really creepy, but uh, um, what I wanted for the background uh, would have been, like, black. That would have been so freaking cool. I really, I will say this about Studio Dean that's really, really nice. They're utilizing their soundtrack very uh, nicely. The soundtrack is really, really eerie. It's with this, um, with this violin and the piano. I really like it. You know what? I want to, um, correct my, 
what I said previously when we saw the classmate, or not the class, well, actually with the classmates and when um, Rai mentioned uh, uh, that she killed her friend. You see the 8 minute 10 second mark with uh, the classmates with the black and white stripes? That's what I wanted uh, with Rye. That is really, really creepy, and that is so freaking cool. But with uh, with the black back, um, with the black uh, background, that's just so cool. Oh my god, this violin is so beautiful. Oh my god, I really love the soundtrack. It's just killing me right now that the writing is so up for the um majority of this episode or right now the um, majority of this episode is so bad but I will say this though the writing in this flashback is freaking fantastic it's just killing me that the writing um, at um, the beginning of this episode or like the lore for the most part has been um, has been skipped it's just goddamn killing me because the writing right now is so good and god please for the love of god studio dean i hope from now on that you fix this writing series i really really hope so because the animation is so good and the soundtrack is freaking fantastic and um and the voice acting is really really good i really love it um and there and um, there's so much potential here. It's just killing me right now. Oh my god, I gotta apologize. I've been pronouncing uh, Rie's name wrong. Oh my god, I'm really, really freaking sorry. Um, um, uh, what about, uh, hold on, let me read this right. Um, what about tomorrow's hairstyle? Uh, or no, that was there. Um, email me uh, was skipped. And something I really like at the 9 minute 52 second mark was um, when, um, uh, shit, um, when uh, Taiko, when, uh, when they animated Taiko like all black and white, that was cool. I love it. And again, we have some lines uh, skipped and um, it's very, very frust frustrating. Uh, uh, she would only get in the way, um, was skipped. Oh my god, the way, oh my god, the way Studio Dean animated Taiko's death. Oh my god, oh, why can't you, oh, why, why, why? Why couldn't you do the writing earlier? Uh, first of all, why can't or couldn't you do the writing earlier this way? First of all, and oh my God, this animation! Holy freaking shit! Oh my God, this right uh, the writing earlier is just killing was just killing me. But oh my God, this animation! Oh my God! No! No! Don't! No! No! Oh my god! You are doing so well! Oh my god! This is not fair! Oh my god! This is not fucking fair! The writing was going so well! And now you're skipping! You're skipping! You're skipping shit! This is some bullshit! So, this was skipped! I visited her grave so many times and apologized over and over, but I think she's still there on track five. Um, Rie, have you gone there since the accident? I, I can't, I'm too scared. Um, so Moya, are you really going to, um, uh, make her go there at three in the morning? Bringing Rie the quickest way to draw, uh, take a while, unless you want to try. Or, that's not what I meant. Look, whatever happened, isn't, um, uh, is she friends with Rie? Um, oh, hold on a second. Let me just double check something. Uh, 
Okay, that is... Okay, so bringing Rie's, uh the quickest way to draw Takeo out, that's not skipped. Okay. Let me just make sure this next line is here. Um, oh yeah, the uh, bringing uh, Rie, uh, it'll be better to have her draw out Takeo. That's in the wrong um, scene. At least the line is there, uh, though. Also, or would you rather go is here as well. Sorry, I just had to make that correction. Okay, this was skipped though. Look, uh, let me just, m just make sure I'm in the wrong spot. Or, um, okay, unless you, unless you, uh, you want to try was there. Okay, here's where it is. Or, that's not what I, um, uh, meant. Look, whatever happened, um, isn't she friends with Ray? uh, Rie? If you free, um, if you free her so she can pass away, no problem. But we should avoid sending her to the underworld, um, bad for business and all right. Um, Roji, Roji, remember who you're talking to. Um, really? 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 You're not? You're not gonna show the, the, the visual explanation? Okay, I'm gonna double check and make sure it's shown. Yeah, they're not showing the, oh my God, they're not showing it. This is some bullshit. Oh my freaking God. Oh, this writing is killing me. Oh, oh okay, here we go. Hot scum, why, why do you have to be an executor to use the laws anyway? Um, huh, okay, what would you do in this case? Well, no changes, um, far as getting the ghost to appear, but then I'd talk to her and get her to pass on peacefully. Oh, and if she won't listen, uh, he, I hope this doesn't get messy. Uh, right, 10 minutes to two. Um, let's see. I'm gonna make sure this is like the, oh my God, this writing is just freaking killing me. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, um, and if she won't listen? Uh, and, uh, oh, yeah, and he, um, I won't, um, I, uh, I hope this doesn't get, um, uh, messy with skipped. And, oh, here we go. Right, Tim Institute. Quietly, now careful. Kimberly, hope, um, we, um, there's no one here. Okay, we'll follow from a distance so, um, Tycho doesn't suspect anything. You go on track five. Scared? Now's the time to quit. Hehe. <laughs> um, Tycho, think Ray will be okay? Beats, uh, right, yeah, Rhea, uh, Rhea will be, uh, Rhea will be okay? I mean, her friend's a ghost and it's her fault. And I thought it was really creepy when the hand just, like, just uh of the guards just came out that was very very creepy um but now uh we're getting to the cannon the hand the hand is so creepy take take a um take it goes head it's so creepy oh my god it's just again it is just killing me that this writing is so fucking bad oh oh my god God, it's just goddamn killing me because again the animation is really really nice and the soundtrack is really nice and the voice acting is nice but god damn it why why can't we get real, get the writing right it's like I want to say this it's like um the opposite of black clover where the writing for the most part is really good uh, but Jesus Christ Price. Uh, the animation uh, that Studio Periot gives us in Black Clover is just fucking terrible. Oh god, the multiple hands! Oh, the multiple hands are just so creepy! Oh, and the background for it is just, oh my god, it's so awesome! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Tango's Oh god, the Tango spirit is... Oh, the face is so freaking perfect oh my god i love the color for it oh my god i love the 
oh my god, the eyes, the hair color, oh my god, the shadow, oh my god, it's uh, the, uh, the black background, oh my god, it again it is just killing me that the writing is terrible. Sorry, my pronunciation for Tycho's name, I'm just fucking, uh, just fucking it up. I'm fucking uh, up pronunciations today. Sorry. Oh, the red background! The red background is so cool! Oh my god! Oh my god! I wish the flashback was uh, something that I wish, um, Studio Dean would have done. And it would have been so perfect is, uh, when we got the close-up of Ray's eye. That it would have gone to, uh, this flashback here. Um, they say she's waiting for someone. And she's in our class. Oh my god, that would have been so perfect! I kind of wish Taiko's voice was a little bit creepier. I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks that, but I, uh, that's the only voice I'm, I'm having a problem with is Taiko's voice, uh, voice actor. If it was just a little bit creepier, like, um, if it was like echoing, oh, it would have been so cool. Oh my god, at the 15 minute 32 second mark, when um, we get just right before um, um, Muyo uh, does, unleashes the magical law, I really like that we have the um, bright, like the light, and uh, Muyo is like all black. That's so freaking cool. Ugh, again, it's just killing me that um, the writing is just so goddamn bad moyo lookout was skipped but i gotta tell you hades banquet looks so cool i again i can't oh my god if we're gonna get uh, which i honestly doubt if we get if we get hades himself it's gonna look so goddamn cool oh my god i wish we were gonna get hades but I can't, like, this is just the, uh, um, this is the reason why I, 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 I can't drop this anime is because the magical law is just gonna look so freaking cool. My god, I can't drop this anime because the magical law is gonna look badass. Oh my god, oh, I can't wait to see all the magical laws. It's just gonna be so freaking cool. Oh, why didn't Muyo say, contrary to popular belief, Hades is a picky eater? I freaking hate the line change. That, ugh. And this is at, uh, like, um, a little bit before, sorry, my camera is, my camera hates it too. Um, it's right before the 16 minute, 18 second mark. And also, why didn't Hades burp? Come on, Studio Dean. Um, something I have a problem with is, like, I don't know if anyone else could hear it very well. I couldn't hear, like, um, Hades uh, speaking in his language. It kind of bothered me a little bit. Yeah, to me, it just sounds like Hades is is roaring. I really wanted... Uh, this is a problem. I really, really wanted to hear Hades speak the language. It's... This is... That's annoying to me. God, this soundtrack is so freaking good. Why? Just why can't this why can't this writing be better? Okay, I will say this, um, and this is like at the ninth um a little bit before the nineteen minute nine second mark. I um you could actually hear the um the language, the de or I think uh the language itself from Muyo, it sounds a lot better. Thank freaking God. But I really want to hear Hades say it. It's driving me nuts. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love the ending of this episode where we get to see my boy. We get to see my boy and you. I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Because I love Enshu. I love him so much. But Okay, I'm going to give you my thoughts about this episode overall. So, oh, and I'm going to give you 
um, my hopes for this uh, season. So, I really, really, uh, I'm mixed about this writing. First of all, Studio Dean, you can't skip the lore. You really can't skip the lore, especially in the first episode. You can't do that because you because you have to freaking establish the lore in the first episode of a series. That's fucked up. You that you you're doing that. Come on, that's a load of freaking bullshit that you did that. I'm mad as hell that you did that. But I will say this. I really, really, really love the animation. The animation, for the most part, was freaking fantastic. And I hope you keep doing a beautiful job with the animation. Um, second of all, the soundtrack and the voice acting was goddamn fantastic. I really, really love the animation and the soundtrack. Um, what I'm hoping is that um that we keep up the war or i'm uh, sorry we keep up the soundtrack and we keep up uh the animation and the voice acting um, i can't wait to see what um my boy uh enshu sounds like or actually we heard um yeah we heard what i think we heard what my uh, yeah we heard what my boy um enshu sounds like at the end uh, and Enshu sounds good. Um, I can't wait to hear what Nana sounds like. I can't wait to hear what um, Biko, um, Biko sounds like. Um, Biko better sound freaking adorable. Or I'm going to be really, really mad. Because Biko is adorable. Um, I hope the writing improves. Or I'm going to rage drop this series. And another thing I'm hoping... Be um, uh, because I think we're we're getting, I think we're getting fifty two episodes if I remember correctly. And if we are, like I think so, yeah, I think we're getting about like fifty two episodes. And I, um, because we're getting fifty two episodes, there's no freaking excuse for what you did this week. Really, there's no freaking excuse for what you did. It really. There's no goddamn excuse. There's really no goddamn excuse to rush this episode because what you could have, what you could have done this this week is you could have um, used uh, all um, for the most part uh, the majority of the time. You could have skipped the sneak peek. Um, also, for the most part, you didn't really need to do. Um, the filler that you did in the beginning of the episode and the end of the episode, you really didn't need to do it. Um, I'm really disappointed that, uh, I'm, even though I love, as much as I love Enshu, as much as I love him and as much as I love Yo Yoichi, you really didn't need to do it. I would have rather you didn't do it and just finished, um, and, uh, had all the lore. And I'm very curious what you guys uh, thought. Uh, would you have rather had all the lore this week uh, and um, had uh, the filler skipped? I personally, I would have really, uh, really preferred that. Um, and would you rather have had, uh, also, would you have rather had um, the sneak peek uh, skipped as well? I'm very, very curious. And that's another thing um, as well. Um, would you, uh, are, are you kind of concerned that we're gonna get filler for the sake of filler, like something that Studio Periot does? And also, um, what do you guys think of the animation and the soundtrack? I'm really, I'm really liking it. And what do you guys think of the voice acting? The voice acting is goddamn fantastic. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, um, 
go find me or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and friend me on, um, on PlayStation Network and uh, my Discord. All that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.